Wednesday, May 30th, 1230 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Guys, in this video we're going to take a quick look at the situation on the big island of Hawaii regarding the eruption of the Kilauea volcano. What you're looking at right now is the summit. This is the caldera of Kilauea and this was formed back in 1924 by this eruption right here. This is a picture of the 1924 eruption. That's what gave the summit its shape. I think it's about to get a new shape and I'll explain why. First of all, I want to share with you guys why I haven't been doing daily reports from Hawaii is because there are so many reports now um, that are just dominating the news. It is a big deal. It's a big earth change and I don't want to be repetitive just repeating the same news over and over and over again. However, I will report on something new that I see and I've seen something new that it's not being reported on yet. But in case you don't know, I do have a link dedicated to the situation in Hawaii because that's something that we do follow our earth changes and this is a big earth change so you can see everything pretty much in real time as this man seeing it Kaika Marzo I found a Kaika back on May 2nd or the first of May as he was on scene at the very first fissure as it opened up near Leilani Estates and he was the first man on the scene literally and he's been there every day since so that's why I don't do reports every day, but you can find new reports at the website. And if you go to that link and click on it, it takes you to this page here. I've dedicated it to this man. He's an outstanding citizen of the Big Island. You click on this red tab here, it takes you to his Facebook page. And he just put up another report four minutes ago. He's on the scene now at, at uh, Fissure 8. He's all over the, the situation out there as it's unfolding. So seems like a good guy. There's also a fundraiser at his Facebook page where they're raising funds to help the people that have lost their homes and that have been displaced by this, uh, again, incredible earth change. So all of these links you can find below in the description box, along with some other excellent sources of information from the USGS. They give a little more scientific uh, terminology on what's going on, and, and some of this stuff is unchartered territory. For instance, with regard to, we'll go back to Akaika's page. He got the, the map uh, from the USGS, but I just was here, so I know right where to go would find it. PGV, which is the uh, Puna Geothermal Power Plant. You can see the orange and red, the lava is getting very close to that power plant. And what I meant by uncharted waters was we've never had a lava flow go over a geothermal power plant so we don't know how that's going to react yes there's been many lava flows on the big island in the past but nothing quite like this and it's becoming more and more unique you can look at webcams here from the national park service that link you can also find down in the description box below and this is a look at the crater of uh, Kilauea it's called Haley Mau Mau and the crater I think is about to change shape and I'll explain why but for some reason the camera we don't have a very good view today and I think it's because the wind has shifted directions and it's now blowing the ash plume directly towards the camera and the camera is almost a mile away so the winds have shifted volcanoes I'm sorry the uh, earthquakes have also intensified greatly this is another website it's another good source of information the uh, HVO you can find all of these links below in the description box. I want to talk about earthquakes though because the number is going up exponentially. You can see now it's up to 3115 that's over the course of seven days. That's global but the majority of those are right here on the big island of Hawaii and as you can see they're moving to the summit of the volcano. When the 6.9 occurred that uh, created a 20 inch shift of this section of the island there were multiple aftershocks the number got up over a thousand or over 3,000 rather quickly stayed there for a couple of weeks in fact on my personal app that I use on my phone you can see this is dated May 7th this is a screenshot this is the maximum number it reached 1329 and this was after the 6.9 earthquake right now it's trending higher than that and there hasn't been any large earthquakes that I know of at least anything close 
There's been a 3.4 just a few minutes ago, and they're occurring at the rate of like every minute it seems like. Uh, that's 5.7. Let me take you up to the last screenshot that I just took five minutes ago. Um, actually, 10 minutes ago. It's at 15.86. The number is going up by the minute. Um, and you can see they're occurring at the rate of 12.05, 12.06, 12.07, 12.09, very, very quickly. Uh, 3.4 volcano Hawaii. That's one of the stronger ones. So I think with this intensification, we're going to see what's called a uh, destabilization event. And it's already underway. Basically, the, the caldera, the summit is sinking, and it's going to change shape. And if this thing collapses completely, then you'll see yet another dramatic eruption that was seen the likes of back in 1924, but probably bigger. And I think that's what we're seeing right now with this unbelievable increase in uh, earthquakes. And they're all migrating towards the summit of the volcano. So that's very telling that something big is about to go down at the summit. I think the summit is about to about to go, at least based off of the quakes that I'm seeing. Thanks for watching, guys. Be safe out there.